everybody, how are you all doing today? So I've got kind of a review slash try on. So I recently made a purchase from Besame and look what I picked up. I picked up their cake mascara and I picked up in the color black. Uh, I picked it up in the color black, sorry about that. And so I opened it, it was wrapped in this little tissue um, and then it just pretty much just a block of color. And then of course it comes with this little teeny teeny brush, little little teeny brush. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. I have a little um, thing of water here to test this out. And then I'm also gonna use just an angled brush um, to try. I think I'm gonna try both putting it on as eyeliner and then also putting it on as mascara. So I did the angled brush in the on the block with some water as you can see and then just swirl it around. Okay, so let's see what it looks like as far as eyeliner goes. So I'm gonna try not to get in the way. And I know you can adjust based on also like how much water you put on it. So if you want something that's quite liquidy, obviously you just add more water. So far it's going on actually quite nice. Nicer than I was expecting from other video reviews. Overall, not too bad. Let me see I can do a wing. I'm never gonna be able to do a wing with this. Let's see. Not too bad. It actually goes on pretty nice. Um, I would say it's not super dark, like compared to, for instance, um, Stila's um, Stay All Day, it's not as dark, but surprisingly, just the little bit of water I used, I literally just dropped the brush in it, um, tapped it off, and then swirled it around in there. And there's just a little teeny bit of water left on there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, surprisingly, the little about amount I used, and I mean, it's giving a nice color. Okay, let me try now the mascara. I, okay, let's see. And of course, this also can be applied based on how much you, water you put on there. Overall though, I would say it gives a nice color. You know what, I'll put some of the mascara just on this eye, so that way um, you can see what it looks like just applying it to an eye without any dye liner. The lashes also look quite wispy, like you know how like in the older movies, their eyelashes look really wispy, like they kind of go up and they're like kind of all fluttery. It kind of gives me, it reminds me of that a little bit today. I think the, the little brush allows you to get to some of the individual pieces a little better. And because it's not such a liquid uh, or a thick goop, kind of like other mascaras, like you're, you're not afraid to like put it anywhere and just be like, okay, I'm missing a little bit of, of uh, mascara just in this one little lash. But I know if I go and I try to put it in, What's gonna happen is it's gonna overcoat the other ones and it's just gonna look crazy. So here's what it looks like. I hope you can see. So I think it gives a pretty nice, um, pretty nice color. It does, I don't know if you can see, it does leave some transfer. So I think you have to be careful of that. I don't use a lot of eyeshadow. Um, so it doesn't really bother me. I can just take a q-tip, but I think if you let it dry I'll try to let it dry and see if I if it comes easy off of the q-tip too. See like I have some eyelashes, right? <laughs> I have some eyelashes right here at the very end that it's hard for me to get those ones And so they always don't really get as much color and I'm, ex I'm wanting to see if this brush will help them Help me to focus on them is giving length. Do you see the length? It's definitely giving length. It's giving a slight curl because um, I don't usually normally curl my lashes. I haven't done it in a long time um, but it's actually giving a pretty decent curl like I feel like it's actually doing a better job at curling them than my Dior show. It's giving a really it's really nice. I think you just got to be patient. If you're running a 
late, you probably don't want to do it. Look at that. I think it's pretty good. I think it's giving a really, really nice um, look. I'm going to add a little bit more to this side. So I'm more or less just kind of leaving the brush flat. So um, rather than looking, going this way and going up this way, I'm leaving the brush flat against my eyelashes and kind of moving it up that way. More or less the eyelashes are kind of like falling on top and I'm just kind of swooping it over them. So that might make a difference too. I think it's actually doing a really good job. I mean, as far as um, curling my eyelashes go, I'm thinking I would give it an A plus at curling. I mean, it curls, I feel like, a little bit better than my Dior show. Um, the color is a nice dark black. It's not the blackest mascara, but it's a nice, it's a nice dark black. Um, it's not as, it's not a really thick mascara, so it's not gonna give um, thickness but it will make your eyelashes um, kind of wispy um, and you'll be able to kind of like see the individual lashes but not in a like tarantula kind of way but just like the length of the lashes. Um, the eyeliner, I think I gotta work on that a little bit more. <laughs> um, the eyeliner I think is nice. I think um, with the eyeliner, probably let that sit for a little bit so it thickens, especially when you're doing the wing and you're not good at wings like me. Um, I feel like that would be probably a little better. I think the biggest thing is is I think um, It's the amount of water you apply like I said I just literally dipped it in tapped it off and then rubbed it into the into the little Into the little uh, cake mascara and then I just kind of swirled it around I swirled it around in roughly I would say a between a dime and a nickel size um, circle and that way it um, kind of like it would expand it would kind of pick up some of the color but not too much if that makes sense it w wouldn't just basically be a liquidy clump in the middle where it was just basically really liquidy but it actually had some um, of the product so it was kind of a thicker consistency uh, I feel like you could also probably if you wanted to use a brush like this to get some more of the individual lashes I think that would be nice too so actually I'll do one more thing. I will try doing it to the bottom lashes. So that's a good thing too, is it doesn't, as long as you don't use a lot of water, it doesn't stay super thick. So let's see what it looks like on the bottom lashes. I don't know if you can see the bottom lashes. So like this one I did compared to the other one. It gave a pretty nice, um, overall did a pretty good job at um, giving some color to the bottom lashes. It does, um, smudge just a little bit so you just probably got to be really careful you might even try using a brush like this just to kind of barely paint them on I feel like that's what more what it feels like is it feels like you're not really brushing it on as much as you're painting your lashes I guess that would be to me the best way I could describe it it feels like you're painting your lashes but I think it does a really good job but yeah it does leave transfer a little bit behind so be careful of that if you, that's something you're concerned with um, it, it comes off rather easy. Like I said, I just wiped my hand and it already came off. Um, um, I'm interested to see how it does during the day with the heat, like if it just kind of starts running down your face or um, like if you kind of like, you know, wipe your eye if it's going to move. Um, but I'll try to do an update and let you all know how it is. I'm going to try to wear it tomorrow to work and it has been warm out. It's supposed to be a little cooler tomorrow, but it has been warm out. So we'll see how that goes. Hey everybody, so I wanted to do a little bit of an update. So about a month, a month and a half ago, um, I purchased a mascara, the cake mascara. So at first it's definitely a little bit getting used to because you're not, you don't have the wand and you put it so close up to your eye and just even then the overall look you get is just so completely different than what you're used to with the wands. However, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it and I'll tell you why. It just gives you the most natural looking lashes. They're just, it makes them like a little bit longer. Um, they slowly um, curl up. It's not dramatic or anything like that. Like that if you wanna look like the like 1940s starlet who looks like she's barely wearing any makeup but she's got these gorgeous lashes, I feel like that'll give you that effect. Let me see, I don't know if you can see. I'm outside. No, it's not gonna show it but it is, it's a nice natural look, um, even on the bottom. I don't know if you can see, dang it, I'm outside. 
Um, it's just, it's really, really nice. I've also used it as an eyeliner and I feel like it is just amazing. It's just so perfect. It's just, it goes on nicely. It's not like, I love the Sephora all day liner, the black one, I believe that's what it's called. But sometimes it can be a little bit too thick and kind of be a little too much. Whereas this one has that like natural 1940s-ish kind of um, eyeliner look, which obviously that's the whole purpose of it. So if you're looking for that natural of a look and you don't feel like you're getting it with your traditional makeup, I would definitely recommend giving it a try. And I'm so happy I got it. I would definitely absolutely 100% repurchase it. It's lasted me a while and that's a good thing. Whereas like the other ones, Obviously, you can clean it every time so it's more hygienic. Um, obviously, with me, it's my own, so I don't have to re worry about it. Like, if I forget and if I reuse it, it's not that big of a deal. But if you're trying to keep your mascara clean, you don't want to get the bacteria in there. Obviously, it's more hygienic because you can wash your brush after every time. You don't have to keep on rubbing it in. I mean, sometimes just the one swirling around on the cake mascara um, block, that's all I need for both eyelashes because, like I said, the first one usually is a little too wet, so I usually start off with this side, and then by the time it gets to the side, it's dried a little bit. But it is really fantastic. I'll try to see if I can't do some pictures, but I love it. I 100% get it again. I still do occasionally use the um, traditional mascara, but honestly, if I want to feel like my lashes really stand out, I feel like I want to get this one. And they don't look as chunky. My one downfall, though, would be that when you go to, if, if you're crying, it will get everywhere. If your eyes water it'll 100% get everywhere however even when you take it off at night like you'll get it everywhere and it takes a little bit to get off but it's not like that scrubbing of your eyes like you have with traditional mascara so there's that okay so here are the eyelashes I don't know if you can see or not 